European folklore and myth, the Ill King is a sinister elf who lingers in the woods. He stalks children who stay in the woods for too long and kills them by a single touch. Got the name of King German Ilconic Lit Older King is a name used in German Romanticism for the figure of a spirit or king of the fairies. It is usually assumed that the name is a derivation from the Elekongolder Elvekunj i.e. Elf King in Danish folklore when the name is first used by Johann Gottfried Herder in his ballad Ulkonigs Tokta 1778, an adaptation of the Danish Hur. Olaf Hanrider 1739 and was taken up by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe in his poem Ilkonik 1782, which was set to music by Schubert among others too in English translations of Goethe's poem the name is sometimes rendered as Earl King. According to Jacob Grimm the term originates with a Scandinavian Danish word Elekong King of the Elves three or for a female spirit Elvacon Jens day to the Elven King's daughter who is responsible for ensnaring human beings to satisfy her desire, jealousy, or lust for revenge. 4-5 The New Oxford American Dictionary follows this explanation. Describing the king as a bearded giant or goblin who leads little children to the land of death, mistranslated by Herder as Ilkonig in the late 18th century from Elekonj 6. The correct German word would have been Elkonig or Elbenkonig, afterwards used under the modified form of Elfenkonig by Christoph Martin Wieland in his 1780 poem Oberon 7. Alternative suggestions have also been made in 1836 Howling suggested a connection with the Turkic and Mongolian god of death or psychopomp known as Erlich Chan. Johann Gottfried von Herder introduced this character into German literature in Elkonig's Tokta, a ballad published in his 1778 volume Stimmen, Der Volker in Lieden. It was based on the Danish folk ballad Hur. Olaf Hun Rider Sir Olaf He Rides published in the 1739 Dansk Kampfizer for Herder undertook a free translation where he translated the Danish Elvami Elf made as an Konig's Tokter. According to Danish legend Old Burial Mounds are the residence of the Elverkunj dialectically Elarkunj the latter has later been misunderstood in Denmark by some antiquarians as Alder King, cf Danish Elettre Alder Tree. It has generally been assumed that the mistranslation was the result of error, but it has also been suggested Herder does actually also refer to elves in his translation that he was imaginatively trying to identify the malevolent sprite of the original tale with a woodland old man hence, the older King Nine. The story portrays Sir Olaf riding to his marriage, but being entranced by the music of the elves. An elf maiden, in Herder's translation the Elvikunj's daughter appears and invites him to dance with her. He refuses and spurns her offers of gifts and gold. Angered, she strikes him and sends him on his way deathly pale. The following morning on the day of his wedding his bride finds him lying dead under his scarlet cloak. I and Angela Carter's short story The Earl King, contained within the 1979 collection, The Bloody Chamber, the female protagonist encounters a male forest spirit. Though she becomes aware of his malicious intentions, she is torn between her desire for him and her desire for freedom. In the end she forms a plan to kill him in order to escape his power. Charles Kinboat, the narrator of Vladimir Nabokov's 1962 novel Pale Fire alludes to older kings. One allusion is in his commentary to line 275 of fellow character John Shade's eponymous poem. In the case of this commentary, the word invokes homosexual ancestors of the last king of Zembla, Kinbert's ostensible homeland. The novel contains at least one other reference, by Kinboat to Alder Kings. In Jim Butcher's The Dresden Files, there is a character called the Ilking modeled after the leader of the Wild Hunt Hearn the Hunter. In the author John Connolly's short story collection Nocturnes 2004, there is a character known as the Ilking, who attempts to abduct the protagonist. J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them lists a creature named in a cling very similar to the Ilking, as one of the many that inhabit the wizarding world. Aklings are also present in the video game Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire set in the same universe.
The New Yorker's 20 under 40 inches issue of July 5, 2010 included the short story, The Yuking by Sarah Shunlin Bynum. A version of the Earl King is mentioned in Zoe Gilbert's Mischief Axe, implied to be a figure related to Hearn the Hunter.